Hey everybody, it's Tiffany here, um, continuing on with my yarn pumpkin series. I have been having a ton of fun making these yarn pumpkins. This is the one we're going to make today, this little, cute little size. Um, these are both made out of pool noodles. So is that fun or what? These cute little guys. Can you use a chunkier yarn and make it a little chubbier? This is, this is actually a chunky yarn too, but this is like an extra chunky. So, show you a couple of my, the yarns real quick and then we'll get on with it. This one I made, you can watch um, another video. I haven't glued that stick in yet, obviously, but this one I made out of a two liter soda pop bottle. This one as well. And then some of these little ones I made out of water bottles so that's a really economical crap craft and this is recycled yarn so that makes it environmentally friendly <laughs> if I can say the word so um this these are my favorite some of my favorite yarns this is let's see get it on camera here the respun yarn it's lion brand Thick and quick, and it's 100% recycled yarn. So this is the color Fog. I love, love these colors together. This is Fog right here, and then this is the color in Squash, which is my favorite for these pumpkins. This is just a really pretty, kind of muted, peachy. Yeah, goes really pretty with this terracotta chenille. That one's from Michael's. That's the only place I've found that that chenille, that terracotta chenille. And then here's here is um, the respun in it's whipped cream, which is a really pretty, really rich, creamy cream. It's not a yellowy. I don't love the yellowy. Another brand I love for these pumpkins is the Wool Ease, and this is. Just cream, I believe, and woolies. Um, they have a really pretty mustard. They don't have all the like the muted pumpkin-y colors. They do have a pumpkin color, but I didn't love it. Um, let's see. I will link all of these favorites below. You can get them on Amazon or um, Joann's. Joann's has the respun yarn. Any thick. Thicker yarn will work. This is a, these are a six in thickness. You can see it on the label right there. That shows you how thick it is. But I mean, obviously you can see it if you're looking at it, but if you're buying it online, not so much. This is the one I'm gonna use today. I thought this turned out so cute. It's kind of, some of it's more thick, some of it's more thin, so. This is KC brand. This is also from Joann's. I haven't found it anywhere else. Um, KC Cozy, and it's 50% wool and 50% acrylic. So it's really nice. It does kind of fray a lot, so it's a more fuzzy pumpkin, but that's okay. All right. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I've got my supplies here. You don't need a whole lot for this. You need your yarn, obviously, and some scissors, your pool noodles, and a stick, or whatever you're going to use as a stem. You can use a real pumpkin stem if you happen to have some. I'm I am definitely going to save my pumpkin stems, my real ones, for next year to make some more pumpkins. But um, this is not necessary. You can use your fingers, but it makes it a lot easier if you have a plastic yarn needle or also I have these ponytail maker things. They work really good for the, the chunky, the extra chunky yarn. Well, they work great for any of it. And these are not sharp, and so it, you can do this with kids. This is really fun group craft. 
These make really cute little gifts. I think these would make adorable shower gifts and they're really cheap to make. Um, and once you get a couple of skeins of yarn, that can make a lot. The recycled yarn has like 230 yards on it. Okay, so this pool noodle, this is from the Dollar Tree. You can get pool noodles from the Dollar Tree. They're a little thinner than a regular pool noodle. These ones maybe came from Walmart. I'm not sure, but you can see the difference there. But I think that's kind of fun because then you can make you know, bigger ones and smaller ones, obviously. They both have like the same size of hole in the center. And I have already cut mine. Obviously, it's very easy to cut. Just cut right through it with a serrated knife or a, a ceramic knife. It's work good too if you happen to have one of those, but not a big deal. These are about, this one's about two inches tall. And then this one's like one and three fourths or so. And you can make them kind of all different sizes because pumpkins are not this, you know, no two pumpkins are exactly alike, right? So I've got my scissors. You can trim the top edge of your pool noodle if you want it to be more rounded. I did not do that on this one, and I think it's super cute how it's a little bit squared. Or, you know, it's not really square, but I did do on um, both of these. I did trim them both. You can cut just the top. Bad, the bottom can be more flat. I'm just going to go ahead and cut those. That's really easy. I'll probably just do the one in the video today, just for time's sake. But it's the same, same thing with the smaller one. I did go ahead and just use a knife to cut a little bit more out of the center. So I'd have more room because this is a thicker yarn. If you use the respun, if you used a five or a six thickness, you, I don't think you would need to do that at all. So all you need to do is get, this takes about, about 12 to 13 yards, depending on how thick your yarn is. And I should have, gonna go ahead and measure that off screen. Okay, I wanted to show you, while, while I cut my yarn, I was thinking, there you have this, the KC Cozy in a mustard color, too, and it's really pretty. They do have a lighter blue, but it's got some white lines through it, and I didn't love that. So, and this looks funny, I've got just a box propping up my my phone stand, but you'll forgive me for that, right? <laughs> okay, I think this is so fun, you guys. I love pumpkins. I love making pumpkins. Do you guys love pumpkins? I'd love to leave them up a little longer through the year, but yeah, it is what it is. Then we get to go move on to different fun things. Um, so what I want to do with my yarn is find well, first of all, I want to find the ends <laughs> and then just put my, okay, where did my little needle go? Um, <laughs> let me get another one out, I guess. Oh, it's actually, I guess I put it back in the bag with the other. So this has just a great big, nice hole in it thick yarn through and I don't even need my glasses whoops <laughs> thought I could do it so just pinch that between your fingers be easy and then I'm going to double up my yarn because that way we can get our pumpkin done twice as fast and that's a lot of 12 yards that's a lot of yarn and because you're going to be pulling it in and out through the, that center hole of your pumpkin. And it does take some time, but it makes it a lot faster if you double up your yarn. So I need to find, trying to get that needle to the center, I need to find the two ends. There's one, 
just going to bring the other one up. Really like this yarn. You guys, please subscribe if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel to grow and it helps my video to be seen more too. I would really appreciate it if you could do that for me. And if you want to see more videos. Okay, this yarn does really twist up quite a bit. But no worries. Just take it slow. Pull it through carefully. Pull that. Sorry, this is tricky. I might be off camera a little bit, but yeah, just find the center of your yarn. Like that. And I'm going to try to untwist it a bit as I pull up the other ends again. You could even do this with the extra big blanket yarn and then you wouldn't really need to double it up and that's really cute too this is the this is a big one i've done with a foam pumpkin from the dollar tree with the big the extra big blanket yarn i think they're so cute okay um, I like to, you can either kind of tie it together right there like that and then tuck the knot inside. But that does take up room on the inside. Valuable room <laughs> that's in there because it does end up getting, that hole will get very filled up. So I like to just take a piece. I have a lot of packing tape so I'm going to use that and it is more sticky than regular tape. I'm just going to tape that to the inside where it won't show. You can tape it on the outside if you're going to, you know, you want to make sure that you get it all covered, but I like to do it on the inside. And then all you do is same thing as my other pumpkin video. Going to, it's just like sewing. You're going to go through the bottom out the top and then pull all that yarn through and straighten it up if you need to i like them to be all pretty straight they don't have to be perfect but i don't like them to get twisted up and it takes a few minutes but yeah i think i can do one of these in probably 10 to 15 minutes and if you use the extra chunky blanket the big blanket yarn it goes really fast and that's all you have to do I'm going to finish some of this off camera and I will come back and show you how to finish it up Well, I've got it mostly done now. You can see how full it is in the center there, how tight it is. And so what I like to do to get my needle through it so that you're not snagging on your other yarns, because that way you can't really get it through, is I push my finger down there about an inch probably. And then I poke the needle in so that I can feel it on my finger. And then I let my... I f have the needle follow my finger up and that way it doesn't snag on the yarn that's already in there because it gets really tight in there. Just need to fill up a few spaces here. I do like to just go all the way around and you'll have a little, you'll have a little bit of the pool noodle showing. And on the small ones, if you're using white on the smaller white pool noodles it does help it doesn't show nearly as much but i will get this all filled in so you can't see any of the orange of course orange isn't a bad color for a pumpkin <laughs> kind of 
kind of untwisting as I go and you can kind of hold it in that spot where you want it to cover and go through it like that almost done here it's a pretty quick and easy little craft little pumpkin um something you can do while you're watching a movie or binge watching your favorite show that's looking pretty good and you can you know add as much yarn as you want if you want it to be really chubby so i'm just going to go around and fill in any spaces that need to be filled in. And I think that's, yeah, there's a little, little space there. Love this yarn, how it's, it's really like organic looking, I think. It's almost like a roving or something like that. Oh, I'm kind of caught there, so I'm going to just try it again and use my finger better that time this time. Let's see. It does get really tricky at the end. And you can leave the last ones a little looser to fluff it up a little bit. And that, I think that's pretty good. Oh, I think I need one more over here. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, I'll scooch those over. But yeah, how simple is that, right? I'll do one more right there. Check the rest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Be careful that you don't poke somebody's eye out <laughs> with these plastic needles, but they're pretty safe. Okay, that looks really good. It's a little more like loopy on this side. I'm gonna, I just wanna add a couple more on this side to fluff it up a little bit. Of course, usually, a lot of times, only one side will show wherever you put it, but, um, and I do have a little extra yarn here, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it up rather than have like one yard left, but isn't that so cute? <laughs> let's see, where did I, I think I, let's do one more right there and call it good. Maybe I'll do a couple more off camera. All right, I've got that finished up. I'm pretty happy with that. I definitely could have done it with 11 yards. I went ahead and just used up the rest of my yarn and now I'm going to finish it off. All you need to do is cut that needle off and I'm going to wrap it back down and tie a hole just past where that center is. I'm going to try to anyway. <laughs> that looks good. Just so it doesn't come unfrayed or un so it doesn't fray. Is that the right term? Um, and then just shove it in. You don't probably don't have to tie a knot, but I like to make it more a little more secure, especially if you're going to stick your stem in this end. You definitely don't need a knot there. That is so tight in there. Let's see. I shove it in there with my needle, I think. Okay. That looks pretty good and you can decide which um if you like the bottom or the top better hmm. i think oh that's a little crazy right there i think i like this side better for the top to put my stem in um these sticks i've been collecting sticks for macrame and for pumpkins in um at my local well, it, the river, and there's a creek in my area, so I just go looking for old sticks that are kind of got that driftwood look because they don't, all the bark has come off of them. They're really neat, um, and I do have a saw that I cut them with, but 
Also, I've got sticks just from my yard, which you can do easily. And if they're smaller ones, I just cut them with a, like this. I just cut it with a PVC pipe cutter. So that's pretty easy. I don't need a saw. Or I know there's another kind of a dowel cutter or something like that. And if you can't, if you don't have access to any sticks, there's other things you can use. You can wrap. This I wrapped like some thick jute around a one of those foam paint brushes. But you know, just wrap it around whatever you've got, a pencil or anything. And that will work. You can even like use some artificial stems from artificial greenery. And yeah, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is glue your stick on there. That one's a little tall, but that's okay. Because it's definitely not going to go down in there very far. And some, depending on what kind of pumpkin you make, I've got quite a few videos now on pumpkin making. Some of them you'll end up with a much bigger hole. I'm going to shove it down in there as far as I can. It's really tight. Isn't that so cute? So cute. I love them. Really, darling. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.